that's one of my favorite things. I tell you, like, I don't know, maybe I'm in a mood, and then it just took my mood to, like, 100. So <laughs> I'm really, really happy about that. A shout out to him, Atela, right there. Okay, so let's get straight into the entertainment news. Burner Boy and Jay Hush to headline first Afro Nation Festival in Nigeria. The organizers of the Afro Nation Festival have confirmed the first two artists that will be headlining the show's first edition in Lagos, Nigeria. The maiden edition of the biggest Afrobeat festival in Nigeria, the Afro Nation Festival, is scheduled to take place on December the 19th and 20th, 2023, at the Tafa Balewa Square in Onikon, as the organizers have confirmed the first set of artists that will be headlining the event in Lagos, Nigeria. It has been confirmed that the festival will be headlined by Burner Boy and Jay Hush, alongside Black Sharif, Shay Vibes and Flavor, with more names to be announced later on. Burner Boy, who headlined the 2023 Afro Nation in Miami, will be headlining for the second time, and this will be a monumental highlight as being from Nigeria. It is more of a homecoming. Another headliner for the event is Gambian British rapper Jay Hush who is one of the biggest hip-hop stars in the United Kingdom. This would mark its first show for the global festival brand since the 2019 debut in Portugal, with Afrobeats making waves internationally. Afro-Nation has taken African music and arts to different parts of the world, including Portugal, the UK, different cities in the United States, and Ghana. The Made in Lagos edition sees Nigeria join Ghana as one of the African stops for the festival. And uh, this is super exciting because uh, for the longest, since they started Afro Nation in Ghana, I've had friends, I've had people who plan ahead just because of Afro Nation. They go all the way to Ghana. Definitely. And now that it's coming to Nigeria, then they have to keep their flight tickets and maybe just do VIP and attend Afro Nation here in Lagos, and this is, uh, I feel like this is also going to boost tourism because now more people will come to Lagos. People, especially people who feel that Nigeria is um, not part, not a country. Instead, Africa is a continent or a country instead of a country. So now a lot of people are going to more cities and more countries in Africa, and this is more exposure. So I feel like this is really good. And then Burner Boy being the headliner. Hmm. It's not the African giant for nothing. I totally agree with you because I think that uh, when um, uh, Rema was giving a speech at the Eddies, he yeah. touched on this, uh, you know, talking about Afro Nation, talking about, you know, he has to be representing, yep. you know, wherever Nigeria is doing stuff so that, you know, you can see that they are representing. And I mean, this is a very good one, especially touching on tourism because, you know, forever it has been like, okay, the year of return and people have gone to, uh, you know, Ghana and yeah. they have established that. And I really do hope that uh, the government will key into this yes. and it will be a big thing and then they will make security a thing so that people can come for this particular festival and then it can just be a thing that people would always just return to Nigeria. And the great thing is um, every December in Nigeria, there are a couple of events that go on. So obviously, I hope people that are coming for Afro Nation are also doing their research because you can spend December in Nigeria and have fun. It's dirty December. What do we call it? That's I love the publicity it. already. <laughs> All right, still on the entertainment news, now we're going foreign. Spain charges Shakira with tax evasion for a second time. Spanish prosecutors have charged Colombian singer Shakira with failing to pay 6.7 million euros, approximately $7.1 million in tax over 2018 income. Shakira is alleged to have used an offshore company based in a tax haven to avoid paying the tax. Barcelona prosecutor said in a statement. She has been notified of the charges in Miami where she lives, according to the statement. Shakira is due to go on trial on November 20 in Barcelona for six counts of tax fraud she allegedly committed in 2012, 2013 and 2014. In that case, prosecutors allege she paid, failed to pay 14.5 million euros, approximately $15.4 million in tax. Prosecutors in Barcelona have alleged the Grammy winner spent more than half of the 2012 to 2014 period in Spain and therefore should have paid taxes in the country, even though her official residence was in the Bahamas. Spanish tax officials opened the latest case against Shakira last July, 
stating that she was facing a new tax probe linked to alleged irregularities in the tax returns for 2018. After reviewing the evidence gathered over the last two months, prosecutors have decided to bring charges. No date for a trial was set. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Shakira is going through a lot. Like, right now, there's just so much happening. And this old tax case, like we just reported, has been reported several times. We reported it back in July when it first started. And it's, it's just a lot because, you know, you live your life to go elsewhere, to be with someone you say you love, and at the end of the day, trouble from one trouble to the other, if not ad break or someone taking your strawberry jam. Now, tax evasion, like that's a big deal. Crazy stuff. <laughs> Why are you laughing on your <laughs> It's okay. I mean, it's part of the trauma that is. somebody taking your jam from the refrigerator. So I wonder, <laughs> sorry to cut you short, but I wonder if she still takes strawberry jam. Like it will be a, a of PTSD for hey. her every time. Okay, well, I was even going to say that you don't even need a Tiffany Adish shouting and screaming At your all. name when you're going through all of this. I mean, anybody who owns the shit should just catch it already. But then we feel so, <laughs> so bad for Shakira. But, uh, you know, when there is life, there is hope. Yeah. <laughs> I just hope that, uh, you know, she gets through all of this at the end of today. And she's doing fantastically fine. Yeah, yeah she is with yeah. her boys. That's right. Okay, well, that's all we can take on Entertainment News. We'll be back with Social View after this time. I'll stay here with us. A lovely song right there. Welcome to Social View, guys, a place you can get your daily fix of the fun and craziness going on in the world of social media. So let's just get right to it. And uh, we are starting with this one. So this is uh, to the ladies. And it says, if you message him 20 minutes ago, and it was online 16 minutes ago. 20 minus 16 equals not for you. Well, if you have to get it like that, yeah. then <laughs> yes. so be it. We wish you well. Not for you. Yeah, because the result is for. But this time and age, do people still force themselves to be in relationships? Can they read the red and black cards <sighs> already? Can they, see? Can they see the handwriting on the wall? Serious or hello? Yeah. At the end of the day, we'll chop breakfast. Hmm. Duly serve. Hmm. Okay, still talking about relationships and people feeling loved. This one says, being on someone's DP doesn't mean you are loved. Ask the cockroach about its picture on red insecticide. Hmm. Oh, and this wow. is very true. Oh, wow. So they want to, they want to eradicate <laughs> you. Sometimes, Seth, they feel post your picture because as Judas, they don't tell person, say, the picture where I go post now, nah, now nah the person with that. Now, wow. Mm -hmm. We need some serious MFM prayers. Ah, sometimes <laughs> in this life, you gotta be careful. I'm telling you. <laughs> so this one is to so all those squatters. You, they squat for person house. You go, they do frame. I See, this one's there. They need <laughs> deliverance. Like, they need help. <laughs> person where they pay for rent. Person where they pay for apartment. You don't even get one frame. But you will be squatter. Squatty. I lash hmm. you. I lash you. I don't even know what to say again. Hmm. Who does that? The squatter. No, I can't believe it. When you enter the house, no, you not think the squatter no, is the owner of the no, house? I can't believe it. I, hey. I can't believe it. Or the people who go to hotels and then they put uh, their, yeah. take their frames. Frame. And, and take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a joke. Hmm. Okay, so we can see this young man begging this young lady. We're wondering what's ha happening. And in his defense, he says, my phone died in me. Now why I not call you for it? Trust me again. For eight months, your phone died. Wow, what a lie. I think some people should just have some shame. Swallow that and, <laughs> you know, just, just do the needful. Like, it's either you're going like that, you never just talk to that person again, it and is. it will be like, okay, you go set the person in real, like, in the, because that's what you even did in the first place. Stop doing all those childish uh, excuses that don't even hold anything, okay? Why not even own up to it that, yes, I ghosted you, yes, I needed space. At least, be honest. But why do people ghost people? Why can't ah. they just go straight to the point? I don't like you, or you know what? Let's just uh, let's take a break, so, or let's le like <laughs> let the person know that this is what you're about. So that thing of you just disappear. Thank you and reappear. reappear. Don't reappear. But they like to don't reappear. Like that. Especially when they see you're doing well, they come don't back. Be going like that. When they see you are happy, happy is the key so word. So you don't think that that person has brain? You think that they are stupid like you? 
So you reappear and then you expect them to come back into your life and then everything will just be normal again. So uh, only uh, part, you can't blame them because during the relationship, there was a declaration of, I can't live without you. But now they see you are living without them. So they want to come back. Oh, I want to come back. <laughs> Don't come back, you. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? And this is um, someone saying, look me in the eye and tell me you didn't cheat. And Yoruba men will bring their eye and look you. Well, excuse me. What is this thing about your man? He's men generally. He's I don't know why it's a tribal so I, I thing. I don't know why it's a Because I, I see on, on social media, people will be like, oh, your man men are just mm. uh, good for aesthetics, mm. uh, that they are not really faithful. I don't know whether we have like majority of Yoruba men like that, but there are good Yoruba yes, men. There are. And I think that it's just an individual thing. Yep. And this is not even about me trying to be, oh, because I am Yoruba. No, don't even get it twisted. I'll call them <laughs> out if, if they mess up. They mess up. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I don't know how to. I'm always very objective, so forget it. It's not. I think it's an it's, it's an individual thing. Whether you whether have, <laughs> have you not even seen an Oyibo person that is just stupid? Thank you. <laughs> so it, it's so funny that a few weeks back on social media, I saw a post where they said something about your ramen, and in the comment section, I saw ladies saying. Robo men, other tribes. So it's an individual thing. People need to get that into their thing. head. It's just the way we go. Oh, Egypt people are very stingy. Mm -hmm. I it's not true. I know somebody oh. from Abeokuta that is <laughs> that is stingy. Like this, greedy. Like this. <laughs> In fact, as the as the fist is tight, like they still want to collect from you and you choke it inside. Like, I, I, ah, <laughs> wahala. <laughs> <don't>. <laughs> okay, what is causing this um, meme, this emoji to cry? Let's find out. It says. Hey, let's break up. And then the response is greet first. So if you are going to break up with the person, at least greet the person first. Some people, so naturally, <laughs> some people don't have respect. They don't know how to greet and they don't care. They just want to deliver whatever they want to deliver and move on. Uh, but I just think that um, <laughs> being cautious, being uh, civil, being, mm -hmm. um, like I think it comes with... Uh, uh, you know, just knowing your etiquette. Yep. There is, like, greet people and then get to keep it moving. Like, there is no... Deliver whatever thing you want to deliver. Not like the greeting will kill you. Yeah. Yeah, people are just like that. Anyway, uh, this is another chat between two people. And first one says, baby, house don't tire me. And the response is, go police station. <laughs> Because now you talk, say, I was not tired. All you. the places, Sha. Ah. You can't say, go to the train station. You can't say, go to, like. So at the moment, on imports, now police station, people, they go. Because of what's happening in the country. Everybody has a complaint to file. You go to the police station. So I'm not the police that you are filing complaints. So that you are tired. Before they are settling a case and they now <laughs> say, you just turned yourself in. I'm sorry. Yo. <laughs> Especially if you now look like the person they are looking for, like Black Book. Do you hmm. have dreads? Hmm, long dreads. Okay. Hmm. Even even Do um you this have person. Dreads? <laughs> even um what's his name? This Sam guy they've been looking for, Sam Larry, yeah. So guess what? So when I say, is that huh. guy's name Sammy Larry or Sam huh. Larry? Because, Sam Larry. Because Sam Larry sounds very like Sam Larry. <laughs> so, so so the Sam Larry pronunciation is when they are hype, all those hype men. Sam Larry. Oh, uh, okay. So it's Sam Larry. Because yeah. everywhere I see the spelling, it's Sam Larry. Okay. Yeah. So, so maybe he has reported himself now. Sam Larry has reported himself. Mm. So maybe he was tired of house and then he turned himself. So the yeah. police station. So maybe this is the message he got. It's a good development. It is. It mm -hmm. is. And we're looking forward to more information yeah. from that. Yeah. Okay. So people that go to school and they are very single, this one is for you. It says, year one to find out here. You don't date anybody. True, true. Now, bachelor's degree you can't do for university. Uh -uh. Me, myself, that and I. Me, myself, and I. That one enter. I it. I love it. I like just focus. Real bachelor. Your own is the real one. So are you telling me that the people that went to school to read and they got married and had kids while they were still in school. No be bachelor's degree they go do. No, those ones they just went to like borrow. Eh, and a marital <laughs> degree. <laughs> <laughs> and we are done with social view for today guys and this week and we hope you enjoyed every bit of the craziness. We will be back so stay tuned guys.
Mm -hmm. All right, we have so many interesting things so many happening. So many things happening over yeah. here. Uh, yeah, recently. The trending one. Yes, recently there was a video that has made the rounds, and that uh, is the video of Funke Akindele and JJC's kill. Ooh. Yes, and the ex husband. Uh, should we still say a strange? But he's married to another yeah, person. Yeah, so ex. Already ex. So, you know, they were at the premiere of this movie. Yeah, she must be obeyed. She must be obeyed. And, uh, well, uh, they exchanged pleasantries, and people really loved it. They loved the fact that, you know, they stood and spoke. It was a thing, and people have been talking about oh, how this should actually be normalized, you know, that you have broken up with somebody. Yep. does not mean that you shouldn't still be friends and yep. all of those, like, at it should be. Uh, but then they actually shot this particular movie together yeah so, uh, him being there of course you can't say that one party shouldn't be there he of being course, there was don't obligation. you think it would even be awkward if they were like given attitude and mm -hmm. all that so at the end of the day i saw a lot of comments on different blogs or different people's pages when they posted this video and the video went viral i was happy seeing the joy the happiness the way they danced together everything it brought back um, funky akindele and jjc that we used to know when they were um, in charge of scene one films. And the fact that, yes, they had worked on this project, it's just, it's just fit for both of them to come and take um, what, what they need to do. It's just fit for both of them to come out and show that, yes, we worked on this project, we're proud of it, and um, we are proud of what we did. I really just want to believe that, you, you know, this is very, very sincere because it yep. wasn't the dance, you know, like, like somebody and then you do your favorite dance every step. Step, and then you start hey. talking and all that. Like people were really excited about it and I think we should actually see some more. And I am not saying that this should now know, okay, so you see how people are saying that, okay, that you have broken up with somebody does not, you don't even know what transpired between the people exactly. who are not talking. So it mustn't always be like this, but we love to see stuff like this. And I think that if even been, uh, you know, very good together because mm -hmm. uh, a while ago I saw JJC Skills, it was on holiday with the kids, all the kids and also the children that she has for, for him. him. And so I think that for you to have the children like that, that means, of course, you are in good terms with the yeah. mother for her to release. I think so. I think so. I think they're in a good place. I really, yeah. really do think so. And, and, this, is, yeah. and this is what we say about co-parenting because at the end of the day, once you have kids with someone, either you're together or not, you need to find the balance, find a way to always be there for your kids and so is, they don't feel that distance. And it is how you are in that person's life forever. Forever. You know, whether you have gone to marry another person or you have not. Whether you that like them, whether you know That's like it. them. All right, guys, we will go on this break. And when we do get back, East Flash continues, guys.